Terminator here, back with another wrestling tutorial. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at a 2x2 two two, um, seamless door, or a seamless glass door. Um, so if we just test it by pressing the button, as you can see, it looks awesome and works fine. And then if we test it again, there you go. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, and as you can see, it's like extremely compact. So it's not the smallest, but um, like the then it's not the smallest out there. Um, but it's extremely compact. And I've used a, a a couple like really cool little tricks to get stuff to work in this. Um, so let me just start with the tutorial. Um, so I'll just go over here then. Um, now each of these sides are completely like they're pretty much mirrored, um, like on a lot of my contraptions. So if you make one, then you pretty much know how to do the other one. And let me just get that stained glass, and then two blocks down here. Um, the, this is just layout. You want to have like a, a sticky piston with a null block. And then another two blocks up, and then same old. Uh, let me just. There we go. Um, so that will do. That will just be your layout. Um, and all that's left to do is to do the wiring. Um, now, for the, uh, the double piston extender, um, what I've done is I've used a little trick um, where I can just basically have a dust there so this is gonna be in the build so you may as well um, keep on like doing this so then you want to have a repeater from that dust going into a block um, with a torch on top and then with a torch right there and I wasn't meant to break the block but I was just trying to get it to deactivate or get the blocks back <laughs> Um, so if we just test that by just powering that, um, I think it was on two ticks, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so it depends like what you're doing, um, I think. Um, but yeah, it should work on one tick for this build. Um, or else it's just being like a w bit weird with like directional issues and stuff. So what I've done here is I've just put a repeater on four ticks with a block next to the, the redstone dust there with a torch on top of, or on the side of that really. Um, and then here you want to have a dust here with a block um, like that and then a sticky fist facing down with a solid block like that. <laughs> Now, and then you want to have a, a repeater going into that dust there, um, and then just another one, not a glass there, but like block up, and then you repeat it like that. So that will be that. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, as you can see, it worked on the, the one too. Um, not sure why that's that is. Um, but it works, so, <laughs> um, I guess it's like getting a 4 tick pulse, because, um, after 4 ticks of delay, um, this dust is actually, um, turning off this torch right here, um, and the 4 ticks of delay is coming from this repeater, so, yeah, that's probably what's happening, um, and then you want to have a, so, to do your, the, the this piston right here so now you want to do that piston um so then you want to get your dropper um and then hopper like so um just facing like that and then get any item in that and then uh, another v right there sort of like the the other one that we have there and then have a, a comparator taking the signal out of the um, dropper like that. So if we test that now, 
as you can see, the it sort of fires a bit a bit too early. Um, if you notice that. Um, so to so what I've done is I've basically if you just come down here where the torch and the the like sort of clock is, you want to have a repeater on one tick coming out of that, and then have a block up with a torch, and then another block up with a another torch, and then a block up to power the um, the hopper. So this will extend the pulse by locking the hopper for a tiny bit longer, um, well, like a bit longer, really, like that. So if we just test it again, as you can see, it's perfect timing. So that's how I've done that. Um, I'm pretty proud of that. And also, um, if we put a normal, pist uh, normal sticky piston right there, with a uh, solid block like that, and then a torch with a repeater, going into a dust um, right here with a torch like that, um, and then we can just like have an input over here. You can have an input anywhere really, but yeah. Um, so that won't actually work as is because this the the piston here needs to get updated from that that um that resin dust right there so what i've done is i've just basically put a normal uh piston right there um <coughs> i think it took me a while to get that ready or to go right but then um see the extending line here also powers this one still and because this is inverted here um, then it will be inverted or like it will be turned off for a bit longer um, so that's how I've done that and I'd say it's pretty compli complicated and stuff but it's pretty cool at the same time so yeah um, that's basically half of it done um, I'm not sure if you can have a, a redstone dust there but let's just check um, and it looks like you can, so that's one tick, um, one tick um, faster. So, yeah, that's basically how you power that and get your input. Um, and then, so the other side is basically the exact same thing, but it's just um, it's just mirrored. And then, so what I'm doing is just getting the that sort of pattern there, and as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as we have on the other side. Um, and then get your hopper and dropper, um, like that, and like that. And then get your comparator, and put any, you can put any item in the dropper, um, it doesn't matter what, it just has to have a, a signal. <laughs> Um, but it can, you have to remember that um, it will actually um, stuff up if there's two, there's like more than one item in it. Um, just because like if it's powering once, um, then the second item in it won't actually go across because then we would have to have a, a double signal or like a, another signal to it to actually make it power again. So then both items would be over here. But yeah, so then that won't really work um, just because of the way I've wired it and blah. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then let's just do the piston down here and then get the line here with a redstone dust torch and then repeater and then torch. Um, and then we can also just do this, have a uh, another piston, uh, so just basically mirroring, mirroring it on this side, um, and then your glass, um, now I might want to take that out for now, um, just because I don't want it to like stuff up, um, alrighty, so then from here we, we do the, the sticky piston facing down with the 
uh, normal solid block on that. And then have a repeat on 4 ticks going into a block. And then block down with a dot there. And then a repeater going into a block with a torch on top. And then another block and then with a torch on the side of that. Um, so like that. And then we can place the glass. Um, and then we can do the repeater on one tick, going into a block with the torch, uh, a torch on the side of that, and then a block up another torch. And then we can just replace it again with a block up like that. And there you go. You have a fully functional. 2x2 two two seamless glass door. Um, now this can also be like a, um, uh, I don't know, it, it could be like a awesome thing. You know, it can have like an iron bars or glass panes or whatever you don't want to hide um, or whatever you want to hide behind a wall that can also be used as like a sort of, sort of door frame. Um, so yeah, I mean like your imagination is the limit really of what you can do with this um so yeah um thanks for watching guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial and i hope i did um have a great time making this <laughs> because i'm and I, it was pretty hard and blah but yeah um rate comment and subscribe and peace